the name of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Christ is risen. Alleluia. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. Let us pray. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Christ, the Son of God, has been revealed as a light to the nations. Let us bring our darkness to his light, confessing our sins in penitence and faith. Merciful God, our Maker and our Judge, we have sinned against you in thought, word and deed, and in what we have failed to do. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbours as ourselves. We repent and are sorry for all our sins. Father, forgive us. Strengthen us to love and obey you in newness of life. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, who has promised forgiveness to all who turn to him in faith, pardon you and set you free from all your sins, strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in eternal life, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray. God of glory, fill your church with the power that flows from Christ's resurrection, that in the midst of this sinful world it may signal the beginning of a renewed humanity, raised to a new life with Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles, the 10th chapter beginning at the 34th verse. Then Peter began to speak to them. I truly understand that God shows no partiality, but in every nation anyone who fears him and does what is right is acceptable to him. You know the message he sent to the people of Israel, preaching peace by Jesus Christ. He is Lord of all. That message spread throughout Judea, beginning in Galilee, after the baptism that John announced, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power, how he went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. We are witnesses to all that he did 
both in Judea and in Jerusalem. They put him to death by hanging him on a tree. But God raised him on the third day and allowed him to appear, not to all the people, but to us who were chosen by God as witnesses, and who ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. He commanded us to preach to the people and to testify that he is the one ordained by God as judge of the living and the dead. All the prophets testify about him that everyone who believes in him receives forgiveness of sins through his name. Hear the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Give thanks for the Lord is good, for God's love endures forever. Let the tribes of Israel say, God's love endures forever. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. The Lord's right hand has triumphed. God's right hand raised me up. I shall live, I shall not die, and recount God's mighty deeds. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. This is the work of the Lord, a marvel in our eyes. This, this is, is the day, day that, that the Lord, Lord has made. made. We, we will rejoice, rejoice and be glad in it. A reading from the first letter of Paul to the Colossians, chapter 3, beginning at the first verse. So if you have been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above, where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. Set your minds on things that are above, not on things that are on earth. For you have died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, who is your life, is revealed, then you also will be revealed with him in glory. Hear the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Christ be on your, in your mind, on your lips, and in your heart as you proclaim his gospel.
let us feast with joy in the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And also with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Matthew. Glory, Glory to, to you, you Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. After the Sabbath, as the first day of the week was dawning, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to see the tomb. And suddenly there was a great earthquake, for an angel of the Lord descending from heaven came and rolled back the stone and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning and his clothing white as snow. For fear of him, the guards shook and became like dead men. But the angel said to the women, do not be afraid. I know that you are looking for Jesus who was crucified. He is not here, for he has been raised as he said. Come, see the place where he lay. Then go quickly and tell his disciples, he has been raised from the dead, and indeed he is going ahead of you to Galilee. There you will see him. This is my message for you. So the women left the tomb quickly with fear and with great joy and ran to his disciples. Suddenly Jesus met them and said, Greetings. And they came to him, took hold of his feet and worshipped him. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers to go to Galilee. There they will see me. For the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I'm sure that not many of you will be surprised to learn that my favourite TV programme every week is Gardening Australia on Friday nights on the ABC. Week by week I watch this programme with great interest and generally I watch it two or three times over the weekend. But the week before last, the first section of the programme was a great reminder to us of the beginning of 2020 in Australia, a year that will go down in the history of this country as a horror year. The bushfires which ravaged this country were the worst we have ever seen. It, is al it almost seems that these fires have now been eclipsed and people have forgotten about them because of the coronavirus epidemic throughout the world. But the evidence of these fires still scars so much of our countryside. The article on Gardening Australia was all about the regeneration taking place in the burnt bushlands. New green buds sprouting on tree, new fronds emerging from charred tree ferns, and the pods of banksias burst open to release the seeds of new life. I could not help but think that these pods were like mini tombs, the seed locked inside for year upon year until the fire releases them. Then falling to the ground, it connects with the earth, enriched with ash, then springs forth into new life. 
Well, a couple of weeks ago, we heard the story from John's Gospel about, the, about Lazarus also coming back to life, being released from the tomb. And he was brought forth by the fire of Jesus' love and Jesus' power. And of course, only a few days ago on Good Friday, we heard and relived the horrendous death of Jesus, whose life was destroyed by the fire of hatred, hatred bred by narrow-minded religiosity, bred of ignorance, bred of indifference. He too was placed in a tomb, a stone rolled in front, separating him from earthly life. And there he stayed for three days, not dormant, but dead. But then we hear in our Gospel this morning that his friend Mary Magdalene went to the tomb. And as we hear in the Gospels, she encounters one who she thinks appropriately is the gardener and asks where they have laid him. But with one word, her name, Mary, he tells her that he is no longer dead but alive. He has burst forth from the tomb, no longer dead, but like that Banksia seed, alive. The seed that lay in the ground for three days is now growing, and even more than that, is offering new life to all who believe in him. At times, many of us are dormant, if not dead, in our faith. We allow our lives to be locked away in the comforts that surround us. As C.S. Lewis reminds us, God is best hidden in the comforts of life. The recent fire engulfing the world, the coronavirus, has exposed so much of the fragility of our earthly life. People have been exposed, many for the first time, to the vulnerability of life, shortages in supermarkets, the loss of jobs, the loss of security, the money, loss of money that uh, many have felt, and for some, very sadly, the loss of loved ones. But like the forests which grow in this land, the world will never be the same again. In our forests, in the bushlands, the many fires were so intense that even large trees will never fully recover. So much of our native flora and fauna has been so completely destroyed that it will never recover. The same is true in our world. Much of what we knew or thought we could trust in is gone forever. Whether our financial institutions and businesses will ever recover is still uncertain. But that does not mean that this is the end. Like the Banksia seed sown on burnt ground, new life will emerge, not the same as before, but life will be there. The one thing is clear in Australia and also in the wider world, we cannot repeat the mistakes of the past. We need to start doing things differently. A crisis is always an opportunity, and we as Christians must see, see this opportunity to help build a different world, a better world, a world which more and more reflects the kingdom that Jesus lived and died for. This Easter, 
let us go out with hope and sow the seeds of love, of joy, of peace and of justice for all people. The Lord be with you. Let us now affirm our faith in the words of the Nicene Creed. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, of one being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation he came down from heaven, was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and became truly human. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in accordance with the Scriptures, he ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, we acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us pray for all people and for the church throughout the world. Praise and honour to you, Jesus Christ, for you have triumphed gloriously. We pray for your world, for the welfare of all your people, and for your creation entrusted to our care. For all in positions of authority, for women and men in their daily work. Roll away the stones of hatred and greed, Transform us with your spirit of justice and righteousness, that all your people may share in the freedom of your risen life. Risen God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Praise and honour to you, Jesus Christ, for you have cancelled the power of sin. We pray for your worldwide church, for our sisters and brothers in Christ, for the people of this parish, and for all who make or renew baptismal vows at this time. Roll away the stones of discord and unbelief, and transform your church with your spirit of wisdom and truth, that we may be in the world a witness to your risen life. Risen God, in your mercy, hear, hear our prayer. Praise and honour to you, Jesus Christ, for you show us the mighty power of love. We pray for the communities in which we live and work, for our families, our friends, and all whom we love, and for the forgotten and undervalued people of society. Roll away the stones of apathy and selfishness. Transform our lives with your spirit of love and forgiveness, that we may share in the joy 
of your risen life. Risen God, in your mercy, hear hear our our prayer. Praise and honour to you, Jesus Christ, for you bring us hope when all seems lost. We pray for all who suffer, for the hungry and homeless, the lonely and friendless, for the sick, the sorrowing, and all who care for them. Roll away the stones of pain and despair, and transform the lives of all who suffer with your comfort and balm, that they may share in the hope of your risen life. Risen God, in your mercy, hear hear our our prayer. prayer. Praise and honour to you, Jesus Christ, for you have broken the bonds of death. We give you thanks for your faithful people of every age, for Mary Magdalene, Peter, John, for all who have seen you and believed. May we, following their example and yours, cast off all that binds us in death. Transform our lives by your risen power, that we, with all your saints, may come to share forever in the glory of your risen life. Risen God, in your mercy, hear hear our our prayer. prayer. Almighty God, you have promised to hear our prayers. Grant Grant that that what we have asked in faith we may by your grace receive, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The risen Lord came and stood amongst his disciples and said, Peace be with you. Then they were glad when they saw the Lord. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us the cup of salvation. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Lift up your hearts, we lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give us thanks and praise. O oh, glory and honour, thanks and praise be given to you at all times and in all places. Lord, Holy Father, true and living God, through Jesus Christ our Lord. For he is your eternal word, through whom you have created all things from the beginning and formed us in your own image. In your great love you gave him to be made man for us and to share our common life. In obedience to your will, your Son, our Saviour, offered himself as a perfect sacrifice and died upon the cross for our redemption. 
Through him you have freed us from the slavery of sin and reconciled us to yourself, our God and Father. He is our great High Priest whom you raised from death and exalted to your right hand on high where he ever lives to intercede for us. Through him you have sent upon us your holy and life-giving Spirit, and made us a royal priesthood, called to serve you forever. Therefore, with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name, forever praising you and singing. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Merciful God, we thank you for these gifts of your creation, this bread and this wine, and we pray that by your word and Holy Spirit, we who eat and drink them may be partakers of Christ's body and blood. On the night he was betrayed, Jesus took bread, and when he had given you thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat. This is my body given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. After supper he took the cup, and again giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Drink from this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink of it in remembrance of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ, Christ has died. died. Christ is risen, Christ will come again. Therefore we do as our Saviour has commanded, proclaiming his offering of himself made once for all upon the cross, his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, and looking for his coming again, we celebrate with this bread and this cup his one perfect and sufficient sacrifice for the sins of the whole world. Renew us by your Holy Spirit, Unite us in the body of your Son, and bring us with all your people into the joy of your eternal kingdom, through Jesus Christ our Lord, with whom and in whom, in the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, we worship you, Father, in songs of never-ending praise. Blessing and honour and glory and power are yours for ever and ever. Amen. As our Saviour Christ has taught us, we are confident to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. As this broken bread was once many grains, which have been gathered together and made one bread, so may your church be gathered from the ends of the earth into your kingdom. Jesus, Lamb of God, have mercy on us. 
Jesus, bearer of our sins, have mercy on us. Jesus, redeemer of the world, grant us your peace. Alleluia! Christ, our Passover, is sacrificed for us. Come, let us celebrate the feast. Draw near with faith to feed on Christ in your hearts with thanksgiving. Alleluia! Body of Christ, give me an eternal life. blood of Christ, keep me in eternal life. I will take up the cup of salvation and call upon the name of the Lord. The body of Christ, keep you in eternal life. Amen. The body of Christ, keep you in eternal life. The body of Christ keep you in eternal life. The body of Christ keep you in eternal life. Let us pray. Most glorious Lord of life, we thank you that you nourish us in these Easter mysteries. Fill us with the spirit of love and unite us in faith that we may witness to the resurrection and show your glory to all the world. Father, we offer ourselves to you as a living sacrifice through Jesus Christ our Lord. Send us out in the power of your Spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. Amen. Amen. Most loving God, you send us into the world you love. Give us grace to go thankfully and with courage in the power of your Spirit. And the, peace of, and the God of peace who brought again from the dead, our Lord Jesus, the great shepherd of the sheep, through the blood of the everlasting covenant, make you perfect in every good work to do his will, working in you that which is well-pleasing in his sight. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be amongst you and remain with you this day and forevermore. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. alleluia.